Hey guys, Haz here bringing you another video. Now today's extra video is talking about the new computer. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this video, and yeah, I thought I'd do it earlier than I was going to. Um, but we're going to go over the specs while the unboxing is going on the screen right now. Um, go over the specs and then at the end I'm just going to kind of talk about it. I've been, I've had the new computer now for two days and yeah, I just want to kind of give my experience. If you are thinking about getting a new PC yourself, then maybe it might help. Um, but just to mention, I got the PC from CyberPower PC. It's a company that I've used before. Uh, my old computer, the white one, was actually from CyberPower and their customer service is always great. And I, I will say, if you guys want to get yourself a PC... Uh, then check out CyberPower and you can use the code uh, HUZZY for 3% off. Uh, they did know I was a YouTuber when I was ordering from them and uh, yeah, they uh, was was kind enough to provide that code uh, for you guys and that works for both the American site and the UK slash European site, I believe. Anyway, let's look at uh, the specs, I guess, while the unboxing is going off. Clearly, you can see the case it is a Cosmos or Cooler Master Cosmos SE. Uh, I will say on the footage on the screen, I am doing a bit of talking because I was, you know, I didn't know if I was going to use the me talking uh, audio or not, and I chose not to. Uh, but that is the case. It's a Cooler Master Cosmos SE. Fairly standard case, but really, really nice. Uh, inside the actual case, I've got um, two LED color strips um, that I have defaultly set to the blue color. It looks really cool. Uh, I've got a standard DVD drive in there that I was like, I was contemplating, do I get a DVD drive or not? And I... I did decide to go for it. Uh, but then let's go on to something very important, which is the processor. So some people are like, what is the processor? It is an Intel Core i7-6850K. So the more standard one that people are getting nowadays is the 6700, which is still a fantastic processor. But I went a little bit overkill on my, my computer, which a lot of people will probably be able to point out. Um, right now, the one I have, the 6800, uh, 6850K, is around the second best processor you can get in terms of gaming and stuff like that, where the 6700 uh, is about the 10th or something like that, so that's the difference. Uh, but it, yeah, it seems pretty damn good right now. And as you can see there, I'm just removing the polystyrene off the case, and you can see there's actually carry handles on the case, and it was an amazing feature, and I'm really happy they did that. Moving on, I've got some Corsair fans in the case. They are the quiet editions, but I've also got a Corsair Hydro H1110i GT. It is a cooler, closed-loop water cooling radiator. I really want to make sure this computer stays cool, and that's the way that I'm doing that. Um, I do have an SSD. It's a Samsung Solid State Drive 2.5 500GB uh, SATA 3 850 EVO series. By the way, I probably had it on the screen, but all the specs will be down below, at least the important ones, if you do want to just kind of look through them yourself. I have a standard 3TB uh, uh, hard drive in there. I do have other hard drives I'm probably going to put in there myself um, from previous computer and stuff, uh, but probably will do that later. Uh, RAM, again, fairly important for at least rendering as a you know YouTuber and stuff. I've got to look into that. You know, you can have your 8GB standard RAM or recommended 16 nowadays. I went for a 32GB DDR4 Corsair Vengeance LPX. And I am actually running at that at 3200 MHz. So pre a pretty high frequency, uh, but it's more just for rendering speed. Uh, just to kind of give you an example... Uh, a normal unranked diamond on my old PC took one minute per one minute of video. So if it was a 40 minute episode of unranked diamond, it would take 40 minutes to render, sometimes longer. The new PC yesterday, uh, that I did the first rendering of it. It was a 36 minute video and it took 13 minutes. So it's pretty quick. Uh, moving on, my motherboard is an Asus X99-A2. Pretty standard motherboard, nothing crazy fancy, but it has everything that I need. Got Windows 10 on the system. And then moving on, my power supply is a Corsair power supply, a 750-watt gaming power supply. I don't know what the gaming means. And then uh, finally, uh, the last component that is of note, uh, the graphics card. Some people would have been waiting for this. I do have the case open so you can have a look, little look yourself inside. But it is an NVIDIA MSI GTX 1080. It has 8 gigabyte dedicated to yourself of RAM, I believe. But yeah, I did go for the 1080. Again, stupidly overkill for League of Legends and for what I do, really. But I am a gamer. I don't just do League. I do other things as well. And I just thought, you know, I play Battlefield 1, everything's on Ultra. I'll play things in the future, everything's on Ultra. So to me, it's worth it 
to a normal league player, yeah, you don't need this spec. But anyway, now let's go on the camera. So I apologize if the camera quality isn't amazing. I am a little bit ill right now and I didn't want to pull out all like the tripod and all that stuff with the proper camera. Uh, so excuse my laziness uh, for being ill. Um, but just, I thought I'd just give my quickie mini review for having it for two days. Um, just to say, it's amazing. Like, literally, it's a, it's another world. You know, my old PC, for those that are wondering, and again, I don't want to come across snooty here. So many people have already gone, can I have your old PC? No, like, I don't, I will never give away something like that. That's a bit too much. Uh, I'm never going to sell old PCs. I actually like keeping them. Uh, but especially the one, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you the angle. Uh, you can see it's like right there. That's my old PC right there. I'm keeping it for a big reason, and that reason is when I move out in 2017, I'm going to have a room dedicated to my office, my gaming room, if you will, and I'm going to have two setups in there, two complete setups. My new PC, my, my current setup, and then that old PC. I might upgrade it a little bit, but it's perfectly fine. So if my friends come over and play League of Legends, it worked perfectly. If you were just playing League, it just struggled while recording. Um, so yeah, definitely keeping it. It's a great idea to do. It means that when I have my own place, friends don't need to bring their own PC because there's already one waiting for them. So that's always a nice thing. Um, but yeah, let's just talk about the actual PC. So on social media, uh, I, later in the day when I got the PC, obviously I installed League and I went into a custom game just to make sure the settings were working. And defaultly, the FPS is uncapped. Yeah, we nearly had a thousand frames per second in League of Legends. Obviously, I've had to limit that because there was so much tearing going on because these monitors that I use aren't great. I'm getting new monitors next month. Um, but I've limited it to 144 FPS, which if you saw Unwrecked a Diamond earlier today, yeah, the number doesn't really drop. It's it's incredible. Uh, and then moving on to another game as another just talking about it, Battlefield 1, like I mentioned. I opened Battlefield 1, went into the video settings and everything by default is set to ultra. And I was like... Okay, cool. I went in Battlefield 1. I actually enabled the FPS counter. It is capped at 60. It didn't even drop below 60, ever. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, ever. When there were so many explosions going off, when pff, full ultra graphics didn't drop once. So I was like, what the hell? So I'm looking forward to, to many years of this PC. Some people say, is there anything that I'm like, mm, that could be better? Because, uh, you know, I want to give you guys recommendations if you are looking to get your own PC. Remember, you can use the code HUZZY on CyberPower. It'll be all linked down below. Um, I'll say the top fans just are a little bit loud. Uh, I have already replaced them, basically. Um, so they come with the, the standard, because I have that radiator cooling system, the Corsair H110i. It's a massive radiator. It cools your system amazingly well, so you, or, or your CPU. But I found the default fans are really loud, like pretty bad. Um, so what I did was I actually on Amazon did a one day delivery on two quiet edition fans, 144 millimeter, bought two of them, replaced them very easily. The wire management in this thing is incredible. So it's very easy to see where everything goes. And yeah, now it's quiet. I doubt you guys could even hear it. I do hear it a little bit, but I, I heard my old PC, so it's not that big of a deal. I think it's a normal thing to hear a powerful PC unless you go for a silent case. And if you go for a silent case, then you are at risk of overheating your system. So I'm fine with hearing my system a little bit. Uh, that doesn't really bother me. Uh, for the performance that I get, it, it's fine. Um, other things I'm looking forward to do with this PC, honestly, just push it when new games come out. You know, yeah, Battlefield 1 has come out, and that's a newish game, but it's based on an old engine, I believe. I'm looking forward to when we get new engined games and just seeing if this thing is that good. Um, also, some people say, what am I looking forward to do in the future? Probably will SLI it uh, if I want to get in VR. I've always thought, you know, I do extra videos on this channel. I like to do other games every now and then. I am very tempted just to buy like an Oculus Rift or something like that and um, do funny videos with VR. I probably won't do it until I move out because then I'd have a room dedicated to just gaming. Um, but that's something that I might do. And even though this thing can do VR, it is VR ready uh, with the 1080. Um, recording and doing VR, that's very intense. So maybe an extra 1080 in there would be a great idea. Uh, but that, you know, that could be in a year's time. But yeah, this thing, this thing probably will go for about three years without upgrading it. Probably. Uh, maybe two years. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy with my purchase. If you're wondering about the shipping and stuff, how did it get here? How good was the shipping? Very good. Um, so it came in a massive box. 
and that actually was packed uh, stuff on the side so the actual case box couldn't move and then within the case box uh, there were like extra packaging and then as you saw in the video of the unboxing there's actually air packed into the case so the components can't move around so pretty happy with how it's arrived nothing was broken everything's working and again as i mentioned as a, a techie person i did swap out the fans i will say if you buy something corsair like a cooling program make sure you download corsair link again not sponsored it's the software you need to control the fan speed in your computer because one of the fans randomly was going on 2000 rpm and i was like have I, have I got a helicopter i downloaded corsair link and boom just you just change the speed of the fan and now it's running basically silently so that's what you need to do if you are like why is my fans going so quick there you go uh, obviously that only works if you get one of the the corsair cpu coolers because it has a usb plug-in uh, to your motherboard uh, but hopefully i didn't lose too many people in the, the explanation it is a rather techie video um, but maybe I'll put up a, vic a picture now of the system in its natural habitat with the lights on and all that good stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, throw a like on it. Uh, for those that are wondering when am I going to do the setup video, probably after I get my new monitors. Um, so like I mentioned, these monitors are not great. You know, they're basic gaming monitors. They're not 144 hertz. I'm going to be buying new monitors in the next couple of weeks. When those arrive, when I've set them up, that's when I'm going to be doing the full setup video. Then I'll be going into a mini review on everything, you know, my keyboard, mouse, all that good stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you again to Cyberpower PC for uh, providing me my PC. It wasn't fully sponsored. Uh, they just gave me a discount, which is kind of nice of them. So uh, yeah, if you did enjoy it, throw a like on it, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.